Argentina find themselves to be a real contender in the rugby championship this season and they have got two of the biggest wins of their country's history in the last couple of weeks and now they have to turn their attention to their final away match against Australia. Hello everyone, welcome along to Cornflakes Grip, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Rugby Championship where we are heading in to the final half of the competition. Just three matches to go now and well this one is in Patterson Stadium and it is Argentina versus Australia and the Australians at home for this one. The first meeting between these two sides, home for Australia and well they resuscitated their cha chances last week Australia with a big win over South Africa. They got a full five points from that match, a big 39 to 28 win over the South Africans. That was huge for their chances. And after two losses in the opening couple of rounds to New Zealand, it's really put them back up on the board. They sit in third spot now. And if they can eye up a win here against Argentina, they could be looking at potentially, depending on the other match, the top spot. It is just that tight. Argentina, well, if you've been tuning into the series, you know exactly what's been going on. These guys are on fire. They are cleaning up everyone. Contempomi, we have to mention, I was looking through his stats before this matchup, and the guards he is raking up with the boot and ball in hand is uh, unbelievable. He is just, the meters are off the chart. He is easily the biggest part of this back line at the moment for today's match. Now, if you've been tuning in, you should know, Last two matches for the Argentinians, they beat South Africa 14 to 3 in their first home game of the competition two weeks ago. And then that oh, outstanding match, an away win against the All Blacks 21 to 14. They sit second on the ladder on eight points. New Zealand top it on nine. And their opponents for today, Australia, are third with six. And of course, South Africa, don't forget about them, are last place with just four points. So let's crack down into this match. Australia at home versus Argentina. It's going to be a real telling result who wins this because these two teams, it's a log jam. There's one point, three points separating first to third as Contepomi has the ball in hand to kick off this round four match. Argentina two on the trot, looking for three here as they face off against the Australians who get first use of the football and through the full hour they go into touch and a good tackle. A pretty small opening stanza to the match there. Straight into touch for the line out Argentina. First use of set piece here. And yes as we're saying, it's a log jam. Either these two sides win, they can find themselves with a massive chance. Landau Holt, he's got the ball off the line now, went to the back. Bosch, he'll take the man on Contepomi, goes through a hole in the middle. Looks back on the inside, cuts to Fernandez Lobby. He goes back to Fagalo, the big prop in the middle of the field. Oh, puts out a poor pass to his... Oh, Landau has turned it over. This is outstanding play from Landau Holt. Takes the tackle and Legusimov will score the first try. Where have Argentina come from this season? That was freakish. It was a poor pass from Figalo. Creevy had to pick it up and... Oh, it was messy. But Landajo, what a run. Leguzamon finishes it off. We'll see it here. There it was. It was Landajo who turned it over. Creevy it was. The pass was for him. And Australia just weren't interested. And the little halfback, Landau, went just about all the way. What a start. Argentina lead 5-0. Chance here to make it 7 for Contempomi, who has been the star man of the show. Bit of a breeze against him. Aims it for the left hand upright. It's pulling around, but I think it's over. A little emotion showing from the veteran, but it is good. 7-0 Argentina. Leading Australia. This is a huge match for both these sides. Mog kicks us back off. He goes short to the left. And Matera gets the first football Release. use after the kickoff. Australia trying to get the ball back. Won't come for them. 
Here it is, Argentina. Le Guzman goes to Bosch. Bosch cuts him in half and just about gets through the hole. Oh, just splitting the line sensationally. Here's Fernandez. Poor pass and Omov. Oh, brilliant play from Omov and he's fended away. Mog. He tries to go all the way himself. Can't do it completely isolated. Moore has picked it up for Australia. And now here come the Australians. Falau goes through a couple of tackles taken down from Landajo. Guinea. Moen. Comes back inside, Adam Ashley Cooper gives it to Tumua. Goes up towards the halfway line. Still here for Guinea. Oh, big numbers here on the blind side. They go wide for Hooper. He pops it over his head for Falau. Falau throws a dummy and will go all the way over the 22. He goes. Israel Falau, sensational try. Australia hit back. Israel Falau, the talent of the man is outstanding. We see a little display of it here. No one at home on the blind side. Argentina trying to cover it. Hooper smashed into touch. Oh, show and tell. Falau. And Hernandez took it. Hook, line and sink it. No question there. But look at that offload from Hooper. That was what did it. Oh, beautiful play from Falau. Showing the ball on the inside. Hernandez took it. The rest is five points for Australia. And Lili Afano with a chance to make it seven and tie it all back up. Still only 17 minutes gone. Here's the kick from Lili Afano. Wind is coming on it. Oh, goodness me. Off both uprights and through it goes. It's seven, seven. What an outstanding kick from Lili Afano. The wind causing havoc. But the Australians have the use of it behind them as Conton Pomi's back at halfway kicking off as we look to go into 20 minutes now and it's taken down. Oh, big tackle! Nice. Huge tackle on McMiniman. He is smashed. Here's Tumua. Puts it to his boot and thumps it way down with the use of the wind. Good play in Hernandez. Nice ball to Camacho. Camacho cuts them up a bit here. Oh, and he's in touch. Oh, foot in touch from Camacho. We won't see a replay, but that was touch and go. The touch judge, what do they call them? Assistant referees now, saying that is out. Here's Guinea, throws the dummy and then releases it to his wingers. Here's Falau again, oh, put the step on. Here's Tumua, this is a great play from Tumua. Falau's going to get in for number two. Sensational play from Tumua and Falau. And Australia hit the double. From the set piece, the line out, Falau was in. And Argentina, well, look at Falau, he just left the man for dust. Still released the ball. Tamua helped out. But Falau is just too good, too quick. The acceleration is outstanding. Look at the step. Did his man in without any trouble at all. It would have been Omov. The step was too much, too hot to handle. Falau. Combining with Tumua. And it sees Australia hit the lead for the first time after their dodgy old slow start. Chance to make it 14 here with Lelia Fano. Hit both poles last time. He's going to have another go here. Ooh! That was awfully close as well, but it's gone over. Judge that one just a touch better than the last. Finds Australia leading 17 or 14 points to 7. 26 gone now. Contempomi again coming to this left side. Goes very short. Oh, the wind. Oh, not a not the best kick from Contempomi. But Australia pick it up. Don't call the penalty. And they have the Please. use of the football. On their own side, they've lost the ball. Just on Australia's side of halfway. Here's Contempomi running the gap. Brilliant work. Throws the ball inside. Oh, and Bosch has chipped it ahead. Creepy was looking for that again, but Australia have picked it up. Loose ball wobbling all over the ground, and Guinea has it now for Tumua. Puts the kick in. It's going dreadfully close to the sideline. Oh, Hernandez does a brilliant job. Gets it away for Conton Palmi now. Goes to ground just outside his own 22. Argentina slowing it down. Got the football now. Bosch 
Giving it to Landaho, cuts back inside, goes through for Lau. Now, Landaho, he's chipping ahead, not the best play because he's given it straight to Australia. And Tamani read the play like a book. And then the big tackle from Landaho. Bit high, no, no arms in that one from the halfback. And Australia have the penalty. And Mog will thump it away into touch. Big kick from Jesse Mogg. Not the best option from Landaho following that break. So an Australian line out inside the 22 here. They go to the back, nicely taken. Here's Guinea, keeping it in with the forwards. Moore with the ball now, dragged down just the 10 metres really? out. Argentina wouldn't mind to get this ball out of their area. And Australia hanging on tightly to it. It goes before, oh, Tamani and Tamua. Oh, it's going to be close here for Slipper. He's over. Tamua went through a big gaping hole and gave his big prop slipper the ball. He was too hard to stop. It's close. It's touch and go. Oh, Tamua straight through the hole and then Simmons with the pass. I don't know. He was out. He had to be out. Australia have been given a gift here. Tamua went through a massive gap. That was poor defence. And then Hernandez on slipper, I don't know. The ref's given it already, so it doesn't matter, but I, I'm i gonna say that's not, that's out. Argentina have been stung there by a poor decision. And again, this right-hand side for Lelia Fano, it's half time, the kick's coming in, it's gonna be good. And it is going to be half time as well, 21 to seven, Argentina hit first. But it's all been Australia. Made good use of the breeze behind them. And they have the lead into half time. Well, if they can win this, Australia, it's really going to toss up this table. The result between New Zealand and South Africa is going to really be interesting, especially if South Africa win. But today, this match, we have Australia leading 21 points to 7 over Argentina at half time position. Well, it really tells the story. 60% for Australia. They've had a lot more use of the ball, but look at Argentina. Six line breaks to two. They've really made the play, and they'll be very disappointed that they haven't scored more or defended better against the Australians. Four handling errors, that's not bad, but Australia haven't made one, which really, that helps them keep the position. They lead three tries to one. They'll be looking for a bonus point now, but they can't count these Argentinians out just yet. They're looking for three on the trot against the best three teams in the world. It would be almost unthinkable. But they're two-thirds of the way there. Second half, they've 40 minutes to call this one back here at Argentina. Australia have looked good. Very good in attack. Flowers carved them up. And he is looking outstanding on the right-hand wing. They need to shut him down, Argentina. Flau will keep doing that all day long. We've got the second half coming right up. It's coming straight after this. Australia will be buoyed by this lead, 21 to 7. And they have the kickoff mod, but they have to remember Argentina have the wind. He goes very short. It comes back nicely for Guinea. He gives it to Hooper, and they're on the attack almost instantly. It's a try score, a slipper, who nice. looks to go through the outside on the left. Now they come back for Tumua. Pops a short ball back inside for Simmons. Australia, oh, they're on fire here, straight off the whistle. Back inside for Tamani. He goes just about through a couple of tackles, and it's back for Guinea. He's put the bomb up. It's gone very close to the uprights. It's holding up in the wind. It's come for Slipper, who scores a double. Oh, goodness me, James Slipper is playing a match of his life. Argentina hasn't touched the ball, and Australia have got a bonus point. They have looked brilliant. Guinea, big bomb, huge bomb. It hit up in the wind, it sat there, and the big tackle from Fernandez Lobby couldn't stop the big slipper going over the line in the midst of the tackle. Australia at home here, Patterson Stadium. I'll be loving this. They have a big lead now. 26-0, kick to come from Liliofano. 
make it 28. Massive, massive win this could be for Australia. Argentina need to score four times at least. Australia looking very good. 28 points to seven. It is all one-way traffic here. The first five minutes Argentina were in this match, but it's been a big gold wave hitting them back. Kickoff here. Contempomi. Where's he going to go? I don't think he really knows. He comes to the right side now with his forwards. And it's coming up in the wind and it holds on nicely. And Guinea gets smashed. It goes back for Simmons in support right there. Argentina commit enough to finally slow it down and push it back the other way. Now, they come away to the left here. Lelefano goes for Horwell, who goes to ground. Quick ball for Australia. Guinea goes for Hooper. Huge pass from Hooper. Gives it to his other big man. Alexander's feeling unwanted. He hasn't had much ball. The way wide it goes for Adam Ashley Cooper, who's eventually dragged down. No support here. How have Argentina not got that ball? Guinea goes back for Simmons, who just about got through. Now it's turned over. Fernandez Lobby finally gets the ball. There was no support for Australia and Argentina finally have a use. Alba City, Camacho. Now, here's Argentina coming in some spaces here. Fernandez, Contempomi to Bosch. Bosch puts it on the grubber. That's a good kick from Bosch. He's got support too. Who's going to get there first? It's going to be Bosch for the try. Outstanding stuff from Bosch. He had Camacho on support, didn't need him. And Argentina have hit back through Marcelo Bosch. Great try from Argentina. The fullback, he had to join the line. The defence was short. And look at that. Brilliantly, brilliantly played from Bosch. He finishes the job. It was a good break too from Camacho initially. That really caught the Aussies short. And then nicely finished. Just had enough pace, did Bosch. Argentina find themselves with their second try. Still dreaming a bit much to think they might get back in this match here. Here's the kick for Contempomi. Out to the right hand side, aims it to the left, it looks nicely through the middle, it is good. Two more points for Argentina, 28-14, 55 gone. We have a game on our hands, 57 now, it took two minutes for that kick. Argentina, they still need to be the next team to score. Australia could put this one to bed if they score again. It's gone up high in the air. And oh, Adam Ashley Cooper's got that. Brilliantly taken. Release. That's what Argentina tried to do in the whole first half. They couldn't do it. And look how slowly they're turning this over. Very slowly. Australia's coming back. There it is now. So Australia get it after all that. Here's Tamani gets hammered into touch. Well, that ball took an awful long time to come out of that ruck. And in the end, just to get hammered into touch for Tamani. It's a line out here. Creevy goes to the front nicely. Landajo fires the big ball out to Fernandez lobby. Oh, dodgy pass for Fernandez. Gives it away to Contempomi. They're on the back foot here, Argentina. Landajo, ball again. Goes to Matera. Nice for Bosch. Now there's some space here. Bosch puts a boot to it. Omoff is chasing hard. He's heavily in the lead here. That's going to beat them all into touch, is it? It is. Oh, Omoff was all the way for the try. He was uncontended. It's a good kick. And the overall scheme of things. But oh, what could have been there? Stephen Moore off the line out. Oh, nicely taken from Horwell. Big pass out to Tomoa. Who's thumped it away, the wind holds it up. Here's Omoff, the man who could have scored just minutes ago. Passes it straight to Tamua, who just Please. kicked it. And Australia had the ball back through Guinea. He pops it wide for Falau. He's left Orlandi in his dust. Now, Hernandez and Falau. What a battle that's been. It's going to be picked up. Surely that's not releasing. Goodness me, the ref has had no idea in this match. They got Adam Ashley Cooper. It's end-to-end -end stuff here. Now Orlandi comes with it. And they attack. Counter-attack from Bosch. Where it goes for Matera. Man on here. Good numbers game. Fernandez Lobby. He'll take the man out and pass it. Contempomi. Away by himself. Camacho goes to ground on the 10 meter line. Argentina's ball is coming back. Contempomi again. 
McCreevy, Fernandez lobby, Albacete. Oh, it's all on now, Fernandez. Now for Bosch. Bosch has got support with him and I'm off. He chips ahead again. It's Lelefano giving chase. He's jumped up for it. No one's got it. He's going to get it now. No, Mark has spoiled the party. Tamani's, oh no, it's not. It's Hooper at the back there. He gives it to Lelefano who's thumped it away. It's not going to go far out of the 22. Camacho stops and turns the other way. Hernandez gives it to Creepy. They come back to this left side for Omoff and he's knocked it on. So just a couple of minutes left right. here in Australia. We'll secure this one. Oh, big hit into touch. Advantage is over and here comes Alexander. Big man running away and Hooper's put into touch. The props have had a game to remember here for Australia. And there's a substitution. Kipu coming on for Alexander. Well, he's definitely run some metres today. Here's Alexander. Not quite the two tries that his propping partner Slipper has scored, but not to worry. He'll be happy with the result. Just, well, not, no time to go here. They go to the back to Matera. Landau has picked it up. They're playing for a bonus point now, Argentina. Contempomi up to the line he comes. Fernandez still got a man outside. It's Bosch. Bosch looking to break away. Camacho goes back to Lekuzumon. He's knocked it on, and that will be the end of the match. Advantage is over, but all they have to do was kick it out. They're not going to. Here they come. Lelefano puts it to the boot, kicks it out, and they will take the win here. Australia, a dominant performance, and they will take a big four try to two win, 28 14. A huge win, and that stops the Argentinian train in its tracks here. What could have been for Argentina? three on the trot would have been spectacular but they have to settle now no points for them at all so we have a look at the scorers Australia four tries 28 points Slipper with two and Falau with two Falau just got them off to such a great start and they just couldn't pull it back Liliafano perfect with the boot as you'd expect four from four and that gives them 28 points Argentina well just cut that in half Leguzamon and Bosch with the two tries Contempomi also perfect with the boot. Two from two. And well, look at the stakes here. Position didn't change a hell of a lot. It just went up for Australia and that just shut Argentina out of the match. The second half was 7-7. Seven, seven. In the end, I guess Argentina could be happy with that. But that first half was just, apart from the first 10 minutes, it was all Australia. The tackles surprisingly even, considering the position. But in the end, 11 mistakes, and Australia didn't make one. Well, that is quite um, outstanding. That is remarkable stat. 28-14, 64% of the ball, and not one handling error. Good stuff from the Australians. That'll give them a huge amount of confidence. But Argentina will have the memory now that they can go home to face New Zealand and Australia, their last two matches. And they have... Well, a win and not too close loss. But they will have learned a lot from this Argentina. They have played a great match. Australia, wow, this is really going to tip them scales a bit for the standings. Let's go back, check out the standings and who won out of that New Zealand-South Africa match and what we have to look forward to for round five. Okay, so round four is complete. Is of course... The first match saw Australia 28-14 over Argentina, but also we look at that one. New Zealand 43, South Africa 26. A big win for the All Blacks over the South Africans at home. And they will go into their next match away for the New Zealanders now. The last two matches are away, but they will have a big, big lead now at the top of the leaderboard. Round five has had one match complete so far. Australia continue their good form they are now three wins in a row and they have beaten South Africa twice in South Africa too 12-7 what a match what an outstanding match we have to look forward to for round five though is Argentina back at home versus New Zealand let's just see we go to this one what this has done to the table well well Australia lead the table but they've also played one extra match so New Zealand well, this is going to be interesting. This could come down to the last round. Australia lead 15 points. New Zealand right behind them on 14. Argentina now find themselves quite a wee way back on 8. And South Africa 
still down at the bottom on five. So our last two matches are New Zealand, Argentina, and of course Argentina, Australia, and then New Zealand and South Africa last in round number six. So that's something to look forward to. We look to round five, and of course it's Argentina versus New Zealand, a home game for the Argentinians. If they can repeat that miraculous effort where they beat the All Blacks at Waikato Stadium, that will really put their chances up for a title. But I'd say, well, who would have thought they'd beat New Zealand in New Zealand? So anything's possible. That one is coming up next. It is round five. Stay tuned for that. And remember, if you like the series, give it a like and a favorite. And, of course, subscribe so you don't miss the last two remaining rounds and just see who might win the 2013 Rugby Championship. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the coverage of today's game. And we will see you all next time for round number th five. Until then, take care.